How much pressure is on Draymond tonight? Huge pressure is on Draymond, um, but he'll be able to handle it. I mean, this, this is uh, – Draymond has set the standard for himself. First of all, game five, one year ago, he was literally missing. This was the ghost game for Draymond. Here he is in this game. We need to see him not just on the floor, but we need to see him show up. Mm -hmm. What more, to be honest – Draymond hasn't really shown up for this series the way we expect Draymond Green to show up. Draymond Green is a force of nature in a series when he decides to be. Right now, Draymond Green is shooting 36% in this series. And the man he's guarding, by the way, shooting 49%. That is not what you want to see from, what, two years running, second place defensive player of the year. I want to see Draymond Green imposing his will on this game. Now, this is how I think he handles the pressure. I think he stops listening to people like Stephen A. Smith. I mean, I think he should hear what's coming out of Stephen A. Smith's mouth, let it go in one ear and out the other, because he needs to turn it up and turn it loose, not tamp down his emotions. He needs to let them fly. Good Draymond is on the verge of technical Draymond. Good Draymond is literally almost spinning out of control. That's the Draymond I want to see. The trash talking, people in Cleveland aren't that sharp. I'm about to get a tech. I've got a rebound. I might get thrown out, but I'm not probably going to swing this game, Draymond. That's what I want to see. Will chance going on. Max, Max, that's how that's how pathetic it is. That's how pathetic yeah. Will's argument was. They're saying Will, it sounds like they're saying what? 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 what, what. Go ahead. As Max. you know, from time to time, I will quote various authors, Shakespeare uh -oh. Uh -oh. sometimes. Which one? Which one? Which one now? Sometimes which rappers. One? Which one? Let me take you back. Let me take you back. Let me take you back. Ghostface first record. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I remember. I know that. All right. I thought we you were gonna bring some, that. I thought you were gonna bring up somebody from the 18th the lyric. century. I got it. I got it. Now here's the lyric that fits the occasion. Now let's get colorful like money green. Draymond Green is colorful. You can provoke him. He does have to walk the fine line, but he is a money player. Draymond Green shows up with the money on the line. The reason I knew in Game 7 last year that you guys were cooked is because I thought, I don't think you're going to beat a LeBron James team fully squad up like Kyrie's there, Kevin Love's there, everything, with Draymond as your best player. It's not that he's not great. He is great. But that dude's not going to be the finals MVP, sorry, with LeBron on the other team in a game seven. Because he was the one stepping up. Because one of the issues, if, the Warrior, if this Warriors team has any issue, it's that Draymond has the personality that the best player on the team should have. Huh. He has the leader. I'm not scared of the moment. I will take it to you. I believe in myself. I believe in my teammates. I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to win. His talent is just not pitched as high as, say, Kevin Durant's. So it's a little bit of an issue that your best player, Durant, doesn't have that Draymond Green personality. Is the pressure on Draymond? No. He is neither the best player on the team, nor is he scared of the moment. What Draymond does have to do is negotiate it, balance, negotiate the balance. Can he be himself and thrive off the energy without stepping over the line should LeBron try to draw him in to attack? Something like that. But there's no pressure on Draymond. He's playing with house money. If I would have told you a couple years ago that no one in the world would take Kevin Love over Draymond Green, you'd have set out crazy. But that's the way it is now. He's played himself into this position. Um, no pressure. House money. You're wrong, as usual. There's definitely pressure upon him. And the reason why there's pressure upon him is because of the relevancy that you just highlighted when Draymond Green does what he's supposed to do, they win. When he does it, they lose. That automatically says there is pressure upon him. What I'm saying to you, getting to you directly, Will, is this. Draymond Green, if you watch what transpired in Game 4 the other night when he received what we all thought was his second technical and we thought he was going to get ejected, it was one thing they're showing footage of Steve Kerr saying, what, you, you're gone? What, you, what the camera missed, what we all saw that was in attendance, Mike Brown got up and got in his grill. He was like, this is on you. You did this. And he jumped all over Draymond. Why? Because what happens is, is that sometimes it could be to the detriment. Now, I understand where Draymond is going. It's very, very difficult to reel in your emotions. And I believe that the league, the league that I love so dearly, the National Basketball Association, is somewhat hypocritical when it really, really endorses 
and promotes your emotion, showing you care, showing it means everything to you. But then come game time, they'll tee you up for it. It makes no sense to me. And so as a result of that, I understand how it's, it's hard to use your word for Draymond Green to negotiate those emotions. But he has to. And the reason why he has to is simple. He's got four texts. Three more will get him suspended. This dude could get two in one game. If they lose, then you got one more to go with possibly two games to go in this series. You've got to be about the business of making sure that you go out there and you could be the energizer bunny that you are. By the way, it would help that he hits open shots because he only shoots twenty five percent from he only shoots twenty five percent from three point range. Hit some of them damn open shots because what they're doing is they're guarding the other guys and they're saying, "Draymond, go ahead and beat us." Good luck. We don't believe in you. He has to start making shots. Make him. No, I, I, I believe he would, but he has to do it. And what I'm saying to you is that if he doesn't do it, this team is in a world of trouble. That in and of itself means there's immense pressure on him because the Cleveland Cavaliers, unlike they're doing to Kevin Durant, unlike they're doing to Steph Curry, unlike they're doing to Klay Thompson, they are literally sitting back and saying, Draymond Green, we dare you to beat us. We don't believe that 32-15-9 and nine that you did in Game 7 when you dropped six three-pointers, you're going to ever do that again. He's got to make them out to be liars. Otherwise, Golden State is going to be in trouble. Yeah,